Designing for Online, Blended and Synchronous Learning, Tom Worthington, Research School of Computer Science, Australian National University, July 2021. By mid-2021, I had completed my third semester teaching computing students online at the Australian National University in Canberra. This was back to the future for me, as 10 years before I had been commissioned to design an online in-service course for working professionals, which was later delivered to university students. My approach to learning design had evolved by 2019, to start with an asynchronous online core, then add synchronous components, and where a classroom was available deliver those face-to-face. This blended approach used no conventional lectures or examinations, replacing them with group workshops and individual assignments, with peer assessment. It was designed to adapt to the needs of the students, online or on campus, including in an emergency which closed the campus but still allowed for international collaboration. The online contingency was activated for semester 1 2020, due to COVID-19. The workshops were replaced with Zoom video conferencing, with all other activities, content and assessment, remaining unchanged, delivered via the Moodle Learning Management System. For semester 2, 2021, it is planned to implement a hybrid mode, with those students who are able to attend face-to-face on campus, but linked to the others online, via Zoom. No changes to the course materials, or assessment, are planned. For group work the students will be divided into separate teams, either in the physical classroom, or in a virtual Zoom room, to lessen communication problems. In the event of the campus being closed, the learning will revert to the pure online mode again, with all students in Zoom rooms. One option to investigate is the use of mobile devices in the classroom. Years before COVID-19 one team of students asked if their absent team member could attend the class online. They propped a smartphone up on the desk, and one student pointed it around the room as needed, and turned the sound up when the remote student wished to speak. This simple technique worked remarkably well. But will it work on a larger scale? For references see the accompanying document.